Hello everybody and welcome to a new edition of Jaltest Diagnostic Vlogs. My name is Marcos. I am training and sales manager at Kojali USA. And today's uh, vlog, uh, I want to talk to you about the calibration of one of the most common uh, ADA systems that we have on the commercial vehicles uh, on the North American market. Uh, this is the uh, Bendix Collision uh, Warning System. Uh, specifically, we are talking about the Wingman Fusion FLC20. Uh, which is the, the, the driver assistance camera, okay? So we're gonna see how to calibrate the camera, when uh, we need to calibrate the camera, and what kind of equipment we need in order to to process uh, this calibration, okay? All right, so first of all, let's see when this uh, calibration for the camera is gonna be necessary, uh, because there are different situations or different uh, circumstances that are going to request the calibration uh, of the of the camera of the system. So first of all, uh, whenever we uh, replace the windshield or whenever we installed uh, a new windshield, also when we replace the camera itself or the support of the camera as well. Or let's imagine that we have had an accident or there has been a body repair and any of those have affected the the windshield. So in those cases we will need to carry out the calibration of the camera as well. Also, there will be some situations in which uh, the, we will get a fault code related to the calibration of the of the ADA systems, uh, alerting us uh, of what the camera is not uh, properly calibrated. So, uh, in those cases, we will need to to go ahead with the calibration as well. Also, after modifying the vehicle height or the suspension of the vehicle, well, the calibration of the driver assistance camera in the Wingman Fusion FLC20 of Bendix is going to be a static and that means that uh, there is no uh, road test needed and everything is going to be performed within the shop in some specific conditions that uh, the Jalte software will will tell you okay also we will need uh, on top of the on top of the Jalte software we will need to use the uh, specific uh, calibration equipment okay the frame and the specific uh, targets we will see in in a few moments so once we are in the software, uh, in order to connect to the system and perform the calibration, we have two different ways. The first of them uh, will be to perform a vehicle system scan, okay, through the auto mode and then selecting the connector that we have in our vehicle. So we will identify which is our vehicle and which are the different electronic modules that we have on it. So one of these electronic modules will be, of course, the Wingman Fusion FLC20. And then we will connect to it and start the calibration, okay. But uh, also you can go through the manual option and uh, then if you enter in manufacturers and you go to Bendix here under the Bendix collision warning systems you will find all the different uh, systems or all the different possibilities. So if the one that you have in your vehicle is the Wing One Fusion FLC20 you just click on it and then connect. After clicking in connect, we will need to select the type of connector that we have in our vehicle. So there are different possibilities. It could be the 9 pin connector, the green one, or the OBD2 with 16 pins, etc. Whenever we select the one that we have, let's imagine that we are connecting through the 9 pin connector. We click again on connect. Now we are connected to the system. But before going through the calibration itself, I would like to show you something else. If you go here to the left and click on releases and procedures, you will access to the camera installation procedure, which is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the camera. And this specific uh, procedure is going to be important because the camera will be placed in uh, the center line of the windshield or it will go offset to one of the sides, depending on the manufacturer. So if you click on the step 2, measure and mark the location where the camera support will be installed, you will see all these specifications that I'm talking to you about, okay? For instance, you can see that depending on the, the manufacturer and, uh, and the model, you will have different positioning for the camera in the windshield, okay? So this is important to keep it in mind. Also, in releases and procedures, we're going to find the procedure for the camera calibration which is going to be again a step-by-step -step guide on how to calibrate the camera 
And actually you can launch the calibration from here, from the step 8 calibration process camera. And you have the hyperlink, so whenever you click, you will jump into the calibration itself. But why the calibration is in the step 8? Which are the other 7 uh, previous steps? Okay, so the previous 7 steps uh, are dedicated to instructions on how to prepare the mm, calibration equipment with the frame, the structure and the targets. Here on the top we have the Jaltes Tools icon to enter in the references guide. Okay, So if you click here you will see exactly which are the product references that you will need in order to carry out this calibration. So first of all you will need the ADAS panel support frame with uh, the specific reference, also the explanation of the product itself and the same for the calibration panel and for the wheel centering uh, connection tool. Okay. Here under general information we are going to find uh, more details about the circumstances that we mentioned before about when uh, this calibration of the camera is going to be needed. Um, also you will see details regarding the preparation of the ADAS calibration equipment which are the main components uh, of the structure and uh, their placement. Also, the initial conditions that we need to fulfill before starting the calibration. And uh, finally, how to place the frame, how to level the frame, uh, considering all the, all the distances uh, required by the manufacturer, and also how to assemble the wheel centering connection tools uh, on the drive axle, how to center the frame, Okay, here you can see also how to ensure the frame position fully in parallel to the drive axle. As you can see everything is very well detailed with uh, pictures and extra information during the whole process. Uh, how to assem assemble uh, and place the ADAS calibration panel specific for, for Bendix for this calibration of this uh, wingman fusion and uh, finally uh, the calibration process okay so you can uh, jump into the process from here okay or you can go to the main menu of the system and go to calibration and start it okay so once we are here I will just uh, show it uh, show it to you from here so basically first of all the software is going to ask you for the expert mode code as always whenever we perform any calibration any parameter setting or any other bidirectional action that uh, is going to mean uh, changes in the behavior of the electronic unit so the software is going to ask you for the expert mode code okay so you will click on accept and then uh, you will see first of all which is the, the calibration panel that you need uh, and if you go here to the calibration to the camera calibration procedure uh, you will access again to the previous step where we were and if you click here on the check mark you will start the process so these ones are going to be the initial conditions uh, to uh, take into consideration for the calibration of the camera so first of all we will need to park the vehicle on a flat surface where the light conditions are stable and without uh, major changes okay also unladen vehicle, air suspension, normal driving level, maximum pressure at the pneumatic circuit of the vehicle, tire pressures uh, there must be correct, additional axle, lowered axle, power, power supply voltage correct and the camera must be centered in a, vert and in a vertical position in the vehicle. Then we click on the check mark whenever we have fulfilled all the initial conditions and we just need to, to read and follow the procedure. Now, first of all, uh, place the ADAS calibration panel uh, at the distance in front of the camera and verify that it is correctly adjusted in vertical direction. So uh, as you can see, you have all the details regarding the distances and uh, on so on. Again, I place the calibration panel in front of the vehicle. Whenever you finish uh, every of the steps, you will need to click on the check mark in order to access to the uh, to the following step. And here uh, you have that the process has finished, and we have one attention message. Manually check 
the distance between the camera lens and the ground level and compare such value with the one uh, shown by the diagnostic tool. If the difference between both values uh, is uh, bigger than uh, 50 millimeters, it is possible that the vehicle position on the camera lens positions is not correct. In that case, please repeat the procedure. So probably you have realized that sometimes uh, the information uh, is going to come in a different uh, unit of measure in this case is uh, millimeters so you can always click on the question mark the help menu and then access to the unit conversion basically you can click on the magnitude and select uh, the one that you that you want to transform um, so here you can check the different possibilities so millimeters you can go to inches or centimeters okay and then click on the check mark Before proceeding, turn the ignition off and on in order to perform a switch off reset of the control unit and save the changes. And finally, the ninth step is going to be uh, fault codes reading. So if we don't have any fault code, uh, that means that the calibration process has successfully finished. And this is going to be the way that we're going to calibrate the camera for the Wingman Fusion FLC20 of Mendix. As you have seen, everything is very well detailed, and not just the calibration process, but also all the previous steps, how to install the camera and how to, uh, how to prepare the calibration equipment with uh, the frame, with the structure, with the calibration panels, and, and so on. So, of course, all, all this information is going to be the same information uh, provided by the manufacturer so you make sure that the calibration is going to be performed uh, correctly and that the system is going to respond uh, perfectly. I don't want to forget about the Jaltes report uh, which is going to be particularly important uh, on this uh, type of calibrations. So once you have finished, uh, if you click here on Jaltes report preview, you will see actually all the details of the vehicle and the results of the calibrations or the uh, diagnostic readings and everything that you have performed on the vehicle since uh, you connected to it okay so you can see the results of uh, all the actions that you have uh, performed and then uh, this uh, report you can uh, print it out you can store it in your computer you can uh, email it to your customer and so on okay so this is going to be important in order to have um, like a control of everything that you do in each of the vehicles that uh, comes into the shop. All right, so that was everything, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have some questions regarding uh, the ADA systems or the calibration of this uh, Wingman Fusion, please use the comments below. And if you like the video, just give us a thumbs up. And hope to see you soon in more Jaltes Vlogs. Thank you. Bye-bye.